Alrighty, well, morning everybody. Um, so it's cast time once again, and this time around, I'm gonna, I'm gonna kind of go back to basics, for for lack of a better phrase. Um, this was how I used to do it when I first started doing these cast videos. This is how I used to do it. Um, my favorite was to was to do footage of uh, people walking down the street. But um, as a uh, as the pickets are just as slim now as they were back then, um, I've decided uh, I pretty much took the uh, first one that came to me was uh, this one here. It's a 4K virtual hike uh, near a river through the forest to grandmother's house we go or whatever. Um, Baker River Trail and Chain Lake Trail, wherever that is. So, but one of the reasons, one of the probably the biggest reason why I stopped doing these kind of videos was because of. Uh, because of how huge of a file size that ends up being, because um, we're gonna be talking in the gigabytes. So, but since I'm kind of burnt out, I'm playing um, I'm playing Dungeon Synth and other various forms of music on here. Um, I'm just gonna switch back to how I used to do it, but and which is also the reason why I think it's like 2:30 a.m. right now. Normally I like to do these at 4 a.m., but I have to do these like an hour and a half earlier now because, like I said, um. These kind of casts with a uh, full motion video, they really jack up the file size, so I'm going to need that extra time to get it all uploaded and all that. So, so we're going to be talking like at least an hour just to upload the stuff. It's not considering, uh, taking into, consider into consideration like processing and stuff like that. So you could be looking at almost two hours just for just to get the whole thing squared away. But let me go ahead and get started. And I don't really see much of a need to sound test this. I mean, it's there's no there's gonna be no music on this because it would kind of kill the ambience. The ambience. Um and. Okay, and already I see, kind of see a problem with this. You got a damn watermark in the lower left corner. Um. So let me think a moment. Well, here, I'll tell you what. Let's do this. Or, let's not. Um, but anyway, I gotta, I gotta get going on this, so... Um, I've got a little bit to talk about, so, but, but just, uh, I've been playing a lot of Gems of War lately. I mean, I mean, I'm even, um, I'm even, I mean, I'm even playing this game, uh, off stream as well, so, um, especially, uh, with the new, uh, with the new team, um, one of my viewers showed me this brand new team. That I should try out, which I did. I'm like, man, this is this is awesome. You know, it you know, it just really clearing you know, clearing you know, clearing clearing boards out, winning matches and whatnot. Um, it even got to where it's one of those teams where it's actually easier for me to use a controller than a mouse, although uh, I didn't realize this until after my stream. So So yeah, and um, I do, and I do definitely gotta give up. I do gotta give props to the, to the the gem pros. They're uh, giving me help, giving me advice and whatnot. If if not for them, I probably wouldn't be playing this game right now. I'd probably, I probably would have quote unquote forced, or let me rephrase it. I'd be forced to play another game just because you know, just being so damn burnt out on gems of war, just. Not being able to break any ground or anything, um, you know, nobody around to really show me what to do and all that. But like I said, um, er with uh, with everybody's help and support, um, it's actually motivated me to keep playing now. So, so like I said, mucho props to them. Oh, and let me rewind a bit. Um, I'm having me a can of V8 Energy Peach Mango. So. 
Uh, but otherwise, I don't... I might have mentioned this recently. I can't remember, but... Also, one of my viewers, he also turned me on to a new genre of music. I I was kind of unfamiliar with it, called lo-fi. I, lis I listened to a tiny bit here and there, off and on, but I didn't really think much of it. So I, it just kind of went in one ear and out the other. But, uh... Yeah, let me, let me look for it real quick. Um, there's a certain... There's a certain one that he turned me on to. So let me go over here. And not what I'm looking for. There it is. Uh, I'll go with this one. Okay. And um I do I do definitely want to post this up. One thing I found really cool about this guy is um his name is Alex. Um A L E X and yes I am gonna have to read or maybe not. But um I've checked out like the first his first three albums. All of them are I think it's called Growing Up, Volume One, Volume Two, and Volume Three, but they're all uh, they're all it's all music centered around his childhood. But like I said, I don't I don't know much about uh I don't I haven't really paid attention to the lyrics or anything like that. But uh but yeah, like I said, this is um uh, this is the one that that he turned me on to. So and um uh, but I'll listen to a little bit of that and um also. YouTube also has their um they also have a lo fi channel as well. Um I'll listen to that from time to I'll listen to that from time to time. Um basically when I'm getting palate fatigue from when I'm getting palate fatigue from listening to Alex. Oh and uh, for those that don't know, palate fatigue, it's kinda like uh if you're eating like like Doritos nacho cheddar ch or nacho cheese chips, like constantly, eventually you'll just get tired of eating them and want to eat something else. Well, I get a... Musically, I get the equivalent of that. Like, uh, I'll sit there constantly listen to Dungeon Synth over and over and over and over. Eventually, I'll get tired of it and want to listen to something else. So, yeah. Um, I'll get... So, yeah, I just eventually I'll get burned out and listen to Lo-Fi. And then another thing I found out last night is uh, another genre I like. Um, comfy Synth. It's kind of a variant of Dungeon Synth. Um, but Comfy Synth is more, it's more kid-friendly, for lack of a better word. I mean, I don't, I don't like it as much as I do Dungeon Synth, but I do listen to, but if I do get a hankering for it, I will listen to it for like a short time. Um, listen to it for a little while, and then I'll break off of that and go back to Dungeon Synth or something else, so... So, yeah. Um, but... And, uh, like I said at the start of this cast, this is what I used to do. This, um, I'd probably say around the midpoint of all of my, um, of all of my cast videos, I was doing this kind of background footage. Um, people walking down the street, um, stuff like this, um, you know, doing on nature hikes and stuff like that but but like I said the problem is is uh this here it's gonna really jack up the file size so this is also why I'm doing this early and not at my normal not at my normal 4 a.m. so yeah cuz I'm gonna need that extra time Yeah, I'm not a really big fan of having that watermark down there, though. I mean, to be fair, though, at least it's transparent and way transparent, small, and and way down there in one of the corners. I've seen um, I've seen uh, other watermarks where they're sticking them like they'll be bigger, they'll be brighter, 
I mean, hell, one asshole had their, uh, had a watermark right smack in the middle. I mean, it was transparent, but it was also freaking huge, and again, it was right in the middle of the screen. I mean, that is very disrespectful. I disliked the video immediately and left, so... Uh-oh, where's he going? Whoops. Oh, looked like there was a cave down here. Mouse pointer over there. And again, I have no idea where the uh, Baker Trail or the Chain Lake Trail is either. Like I said, I just picked this one here because it was the first one that came up. That, uh, um, something other than people walking. Or people watching or whatever. So. Um, but otherwise, um, I'm just going to go ahead and call it good. Um, I pretty much said all the things that I wanted to say this morning. And now i got to set to getting this video uploaded and processed and all that. And all that good stuff. And I just hope it all goes off without a hitch. Uh, but otherwise, hey, thanks for tuning in and listening to me, everybody. I appreciate that. And um, I should be able to do another one of these tomorrow morning. So, but until then, though, thanks again for dropping by and see you all next time. Bye for now.